When it was created in 1962, NICHD broke new ground for NIH. Our institute was the first to focus on the entire life process rather than on a specific disease or body system. Since then, NICHD has remained dedicated to understanding all aspects of human development, including events and conditions that may alter its course. Innovation was central to our mission from the very beginning. In 1965, NICHD funded research showed that a blood spot test safely and effectively identified newborns with phenylketonuria, or PKU, allowing treatment to begin soon after birth and preventing intellectual disability. Today, newborn screening puts millions of babies on the path to good health right from the start. We stepped into the international spotlight in 1972 when grantee Gerald Edelman shared a Nobel Prize for his discoveries on the structure of antibodies. NICHD-supported researchers have since received 20 Nobel Prizes for innovations that improve lives every day. An innovation from NICHD intramural scientist Judith Vitakaitis and her colleagues led to FDA approval of the first home pregnancy test in 1978. These tests now provide private, speedy, and accurate results well before the first visible signs of pregnancy and have inspired other at-home testing methods, like those for COVID-19. In 1987, innovations in vaccine technology led by intramural scientists John Robbins and Raquel Schneerson resulted in the FDA approval of a vaccine for Haemophilus influenza type B, or Hib. The vaccine has virtually eliminated Hib as a global cause of death or intellectual disability, and the NICHD-developed technology has made other life-saving vaccines possible, such as those against pneumococcal disease and typhoid fever. NICHD research, including innovations in cloning and chromosome mapping, accelerated a revolution in genetic engineering. In 1991, grantee Stephen Warren and colleagues discovered both the genetic cause of Fragile X syndrome and an entirely new mechanism of genetic inheritance. We continued to innovate during the HIV AIDS crisis in the 1980s and 90s by leading and partnering on research to understand how HIV affected pregnancy and newborns. In 1994, a study we co-funded showed that taking a regimen of AZT during pregnancy safely and effectively reduced the risk of HIV transmission to the fetus. The rate of perinatal HIV transmission is now less than 1% in the United States. Innovation also helped us to illuminate new aspects of human development. In 2004, research we funded demonstrated that effective reading instruction changed the structure of the brain so that it read more efficiently, even in people with reading difficulties. After decades of our work on women's health, in 2014, the FDA approved Elagolix, the first treatment for endometriosis-related pain. This pill improves quality of life among people with this common condition and may delay or eliminate the need for surgery. In 2019, NICHD-funded researchers used 3D printing to create implants that partially restored limb function in animals with spinal cord injuries. The implants may someday help people recover completely from spinal injuries. Most recently, we met the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic through essential research on populations with unique health needs, including pregnant people, children, and people with disabilities. Among our many COVID-related innovations is the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze data about COVID-19 to better understand multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. Eunice Kennedy Shriver once said, if you don't have an idea that materializes and changes a person's life, then what have you got? For 60 years, NICHD has been changing lives through research. By building and fostering a community of science focused on those with the greatest health needs, NICHD continues to improve health across the trajectory of human development. We look forward to 60 more years of innovation to promote healthy pregnancies, healthy children, and healthy and optimal lives.